joining me today. I'm Ralph Sexton, and I invite you to stay tuned for the next few moments as together we bring you some very important information. I want to thank you at the very beginning of the program for all of your prayers, your love, your support, all of you that have received the updates not only on Fox Carolina, but you've also been going to our Ralph Sexton Ministries YouTube and also to our Facebook account. And I've heard from several different states how you're praying for us, how your church is praying, how many of you have gotten Sunday school classes, youth groups, mission groups involved with helping the disaster here in Western North Carolina. All these many weeks later, six weeks, we're still recovering, we're still helping, we're actually still cutting trees. I spent most of the day yesterday with a family up on the mountain where their driveway, their outbuilding was crushed, their barn, all by the trees. And just now people are being able to get in there to help. And I want to thank you for all of your generosity and for all of your gifts. Many of you have contacted me about helping the children and what are we going to do for Christmas. And so we've got a plan in motion. I want to tell you about that in just a moment. I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen handy. I'm going to give you some information that you can write down, the 800 number, the mailing address. I'm going to be back to you in a moment. We're going to take a little break and let you go see some of the different places we've been whether it's in Buncombe County, whether it's in Western North Carolina, or whether it's over in the Nolichucky River Valley and the Chestoa Irwin area. Unbelievable devastation all the way up to the Virginia line. It's hard to believe that we had a powerful hurricane right here in the mountains of Western North Carolina. I'm standing in uh, Unicoi County. I'm at the edge of Irwin, Tennessee. The traffic is crossing under the Jackson Love Bridge and former 26 has been cut east and westbound. It's down to one lane traffic. I wanted you to be able to see how bad the devastation is. This is five weeks. They've been working around the clock, 24 hours a day, trying to clear this part of the interstate. And this is after five weeks of work. It's an unbelievable scene. Many people lost their lives here at the plastic factory. And you can see all the way down, all of the Nolichucky River came up into this industrial area. And these people uh, were making a lot of the yellow plastic that you see in the rubble was one of the manufacturing plants here. So they've cleaned off uh, I-26. The rubble pile was uh, taller than 20, 30 feet in some places. And uh, now they're trying to get into the industrial area. As you can see, the devastation. Irwin, Tennessee. It is five weeks after the hurricane. And you can see the rubble still piled up as the work continues. I am in Irwin, Tennessee. I'm right off the side of I-26. And you can see the roadbed for the area around the industrial production facilities. Remember the Nolichucky River came right through here and you can see the rubble piles where it blew out the side of the building and now the work is continuing to restore. They're trying to get in work areas and places that they can take care of some of the chemicals. And you look over here, that, remember we're five weeks out of the storm and there's still trucks inside of buildings. And then look at the roadbed. This is five weeks, remember, since Hurricane Helene came through. You can 
see the rubble piles. You can see those that are still working. I want to thank you so much for giving. I want to thank you for helping. I want to thank you for making it possible for Ralph Sexton Ministries to help churches and individuals and communities as they recover. I appreciate you and thank you for your generosity and for your kindness. Still on the outskirts of Irwin, Tennessee, it's five weeks after the storm. I'm here on November the 6th, 2024, and I'm just showing you a level of the devastation that is still here. Unbelievable. One of the things that's powerful that we don't realize so much is when you lose in these types of floods, you lose the infrastructure, the water system, the sewer system, all of those things are taken out along with the roadbed and all of the equipment. So you think now they've been working around the clock with federal troops, state employees, and then massive contractors for five weeks. And we still got this level of devastation left right here in East Tennessee. I wanna thank you for helping as we're reaching out to the churches in this area. And as you see, many of them have lost their jobs and they've lost the ability to take care of their churches. And we wanna thank you for your generosity and your kindness. Thank you for being with us today. I mentioned earlier in the program, I was gonna explain on what we were praying and planning to do to help the kids of Western North Carolina. And this is a sample worksheet it's called Carolina Christmas, and we have information for you, and we've broken it down into three age groups. We have the toddlers, we have the children, we have the teens, and we have the backpacks as an idea to put their Christmas in. A lot of churches and youth groups do backpack, going back to school, notebook, notebook paper. We got to thinking about this. The kids are in a shelter. They're in a friend's house, a neighbor's house, some are in the basement of another family's building. And so they don't have a bedroom. They don't have a space. They don't have a family room for their toys, for their personal items. So the backpack gives them their own space. We'll put the gifts inside for the children, for the toddlers, and for the teens. And they'll be able to have their personal Christmas. This is my Christmas. I was given that. Uh, this year, we're out of our home, we're displaced, but we can still celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then inside each one, we're gonna have some coloring books and crayons, and then we're gonna be putting the Word of God into all of the backpacks. But let me tell you how this is going to work. Here's some suggestions. We've ordered backpacks that we're going to be filling from the gifts that you've given. But then this is what we would like to get you involved in to help us today. Down here at the bottom, we've got gift cards. And if you can see here, an Amazon gift card, $25, or maybe a Chick-fil-A, a McDonald's, a Sonic, that would be a $10 card. And what we're gonna do is we're going to assemble all of these backpacks, and then we'll put the cards in there that they'll have not only the Christmas, and the gifts that we've given out here, but they'll also have the gift cards, especially for the teenagers. Teenagers not necessarily wanting a Barbie doll or a GI Joe, but we're gonna fix them some real nice smaller pouches that will have all kinds of teen gifts along with many gift cards for them that they can use. And then we've got one down here at the bottom. And what's this one at the bottom? What if we're dealing with the children and we find out from the mom and the dad that they need some clothing or that they don't even have the money for a Christmas dinner? So we've written down here, we've already had 120 sign up that we know have special needs. So if someone could buy a $100 Walmart gift card that we could give to those families as they come through 
here's you some money for a Christmas dinner and you can have the backpacks for the children and then here's looking forward to Christmas Day. So you can buy those gift cards and you can send them to us. The mailing address is Ralph Sexton Ministries, Post Office Box 6465, Asheville, North Carolina. The zip code is 28816. You see the 800 number there on the bottom of your screen? That number you can call right now. And maybe you don't have time to go out and buy some gift cards or, or to order one of these lists that we can send to you today and uh, that you can go buy gifts. Maybe you'd just like to give a gift and you can do that right now. Call that 800 number on your screen and you can send a gift right now on your MasterCard, your Visa, your American Express. Or if you want to write a check, just make it out to RSM and then down on the bottom of the check where it says four, put Carolina Christmas. We're looking forward to your response today as we stand together to make sure the children of Western North Carolina have Christmas this year and know the joy of the birth of Jesus Christ. Well, today you're getting an update. Can you believe it? It's been six weeks since the hurricane hit Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee. I've got a little bit of a report I'd like to give to you today for your Sunday school class, your church, your youth group, all of you that have been helping. Many of you out of state are getting the information off of Facebook and YouTube as we rebroadcast this information. Well, as you know, we were in the fourth week of the tent meeting there in Johnson City, Tennessee, and the hurricane warnings were coming through. We were in the fourth week service there at night, and all of a sudden a band comes through with wind, rain, lightning. We actually had to discontinue the service right in the middle of the message and the weather continually uh, got worse all through the night the next day, and then the hurricane itself entered in. And so we were not able to have another service. We kept the tent up. It survived the storm. It sustained damage to the top, several places cut, brand new beautiful tent, poles bent, but it did not go to the ground, and we're thankful for that. And since it was in the air, and the I-26 was cut at Irwin, Tennessee, with the Nolichucky River taken out eastbound and westbound, then a lot of people that wanted to help us from Arkansas and Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, they could not come through 26 from the Knoxville area. So you know what we did? We decided we would have the food delivered right there to the tent. We turned it into a distribution center and the week before we took the tent down, that weekend we started on Sunday, all that next week, and we were able, with your help, your gifts, your supplies, your, your water, your food, your backpack, the items that we had in there with cleaning supplies and the other items that we put together with cots and, and air mattresses, uh, generators, little buddy heaters, all of that was in those tractors and trailers you sent from all over the country. And those seven or eight days there, we were able to distribute over 90,000 pounds of food. And I want to thank you at your giving, your generosity. At the same time in Asheville, we were taking care of the out-of-town search and rescue people. And so Trinity was not doing the normal thing that we had always done with Hearts With Hands, passing out food, water, and, and a box of produce. All of the local feeding moved over to Hearts With Hands, Brother Greg Glenson at Swannanoa. And they've been working tirelessly around the clock. They've actually been helping FEMA uh, be able to take care of a lot of people. Over 5,000 meals a day, and you're a part of that. We thank you for your love, your generosity. And the backpacks for Christmas that we're putting together will be a part of the hope for the holidays at Hearts With Hands because they're covered up with food and food preparation and the warehouse is filled with material they're not gonna have a place to do the assembly of backpacks and Christmas. So we're trying to take that off of them. We've rented a building, 3,000 square feet. Because you are giving, we're able to go rent the building that we'll assemble these backpacks in. 
And so if you have not ordered one of these sheets, uh, we'll also have it on the website, a PDF file. You can download and be able to see it and make, take a picture of it with your phone, share it with your friend, family and friends. I want to encourage you to go all the way down here to the bottom. That's important on how we're going to be able to do the gift cards for the teenagers and then the family gift card. We've already got 120 registered right now. So you stand with us. Call the 800 number if you have any questions or if you have an idea for raising money. We just had our good friends, the Hoppers, down in Monroe, North Carolina, and several other groups got together and they raised over $25,000 for Hearts With Hands on Monday night. So we thank you for all you're doing, all the efforts, all the people coming together, all the churches. You are a part of actually being a person to touch into a family that's been devastated, and you're the one by your prayers and by your faithful giving. Thank you so much. As you can see, this devastation goes for miles. It's catastrophic, it's unbelievable, and part of the story today is that it's over five weeks since the hurricane, and there's still, after all these days of working and pulling out rubble and trees, there's still this much rubble left. And you're here being able to see it, and to see the roadbed is gone, to see that the structures are devastated. All through the Nolichucky River Valley. Thank you for helping. Thank you for giving. Thank you for praying.
thank you for being with us today. Uh, if everything goes well, we'll be able to sort of get back into our teaching and preaching routine next week. But there's so much happening, still so much recovery going on. We are still cutting trees. We're still helping families. Well, we've got uh, Greg Bell and a lot of the guys still coming up from Georgia, and they're bringing firewood up, helping families. And uh, we know that Brother Les Fuller and his uh, men from North Georgia, they've been working and helping all the way up into Burnsville in Yancey County. And we've just, it's amazing how many people have responded from all over North Carolina. If I start naming people, I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, Winkler's Grove has had such a powerful part of supplying us at the very first, and we appreciate Pastor and all the people that have pitched in from all these different areas. Hopefully, uh, before this year's over, we'll be able to get you a list of all the people, all the churches, all the pastors have pitched in together. I wanna to remind you, go to your uh, phone right now, call that 800 number. You can help us today by giving a gift on your MasterCard, Visa, or your American Express. And then don't forget, we want to help the kids have a real Carolina Christmas. We want them to know about the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. We've got coloring books about the Lord in there. We've got the Word of God inside each of the backpacks, and you can help us. If you don't have time to shop, you can give a gift today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being a part. May God bless you. May God bless the families that are bereaved, hurt, and injured. Bless those that have lost their home and those that have lost their business. And may God use us to love and encourage them today. Thank you again for your time.